Hello, my name is Jane. I'm an engineer for West Kent and today I'm going to advise you how to use your storage heaters. Most storage heaters will have an isolation switch down there on your left. Just ensure that that is in the on position. So during the summer that would be off, get to the colder months you turn that on. Basic principles behind a storage heater is they take their input or their electricity overnight. So when you get up in the morning, your storage heaters will be hot, which is a very economical way to heat your home because a lot of the time the electricity is cheaper on that tariff. You can see here it's just got an on off button, make sure that's on, in the on position. So when you wake up in the morning, set your storage heater to, if it's really cold, to the highest temperature, let your room warm up and then you can regulate the temperature down to keep it at a comfortable level. If you're going out, um, turn it down to number two, number three and that will keep the heat a comfortable level and if it's cold when you come in you can once again turn it up and that will save some of the electricity rather than using the whole lot on the high temperature. To avoid damp and mould in any rooms you're not using regularly just keep your um, storage heater turned down at number two and that will just give you a constant warmth in that room. I'm just going to talk you through the digital version of a storage heater. It has the same principle as the other type, apart from it's got a digital screen. And you can, just by pulling the flap up, it gives you certain options. You go into the menu and you can put this one on. You can program it in to come on for one, two, three or four hours. And um, the temperature control, which you can turn up and it goes through the blue into the red, the higher you turn it. For more information on this or any other topic, visit our website westkent.org or call 01732 749 400.